My husband just gifted me a house, a beautiful house, full of details. The problem is that it's next to my mother's house. You can't imagine the turmoil. Daughter, daughter, I want a little sugar. There is no sugar here, mom. How can a house not have sugar? Explain that to me. Mom, I just don't have it. I haven't done the monthly shopping yet. But how is it that you don't have sugar in your house? I need sugar. My God, Mom, I already explained to you. I haven't done the shopping yet. That's why there is no sugar. Look, you as my daughter, you need to have things in the house because when I need them, you have them. Look, you were the one who had to do the shopping so that when you needed something, you already had it at home. No, this is absurd. Open the door of your house because I want to come in and see if you have sugar. Look, Mom, let's do this. I'm going to go buy that sugar for you. And I entered through the door of your house. No, but are you just going to buy the sugar? No, since you're going to the supermarket, I want you to buy rice, salt, bread. I need several other things. Wait a minute. Mom, you have to do your own shopping. We don't live together. We live in separate houses. This is what happens when you have an ungrateful daughter making fun of things for us. Look, I was very happy that you moved close to my house, but look at what you're doing. You're making fun of me for asking for sugar. Seriously, mom, were you happy that I moved here? It's logical. Now I know that nothing will be missing in my house. When I need something, I can come here and get it. After all, that's what children are for. Okay, mom, it's fine. I will do the shopping and buy everything you need and I'll bring it to you. It's just my duty. Hi, my love. Are you leaving already? Look, my love, I'm already fed up. I'm tired of my mother. What was it? What happened? Love, the same story every day. Every day she comes wanting something different. I didn't want to move here. I knew it would be like this every day, a different torment. But what did you want me to do? We bought this house simply because it was a good price and right next to hers. I know, Paul, the house is wonderful. It's perfect, there's no problem at all. But the problem is living next to my mother. I can't do it. Now she comes with the story that I have to do her grocery shopping, that it should be for our house and also for hers. I understand, love, but what do you want me to do? I already bought the house. I already have the solution. Let's do the following. We will sell and buy another house somewhere else. No, my love, it's not that simple. Look, I don't care. We have to find a way because I can't stand living next to my mother anymore. Paul. Love, your mother has to understand that we don't live in the same house. We only live side by side. Oh, Paul, I already told her that, but it doesn't help. She doesn't understand. Okay, my love, so let's do the following. Let's put the house up for sale and see how it performs. Oh, thank goodness. I think it's great for us to do this. By the way, excuse me, I have to go to the market to buy some things. Hi, how are you? This is Paul. I wanted to know how I can put my house up for sale. I know, I know that I just bought the house, but it's because my wife is not getting along with her mother and I need to put the house up for sale, rent it. It's a great idea. There's a lot of money in this house. It's not a new idea. I'll think about it. Well, if I change my mind, I'll call you back, okay? Thank you, goodbye. Hello, daughter. Mom, I came to bring you the money. The supermarket was closed and I couldn't get the bills for you. What do you mean the supermarket was closed? It was, it was closed. All right, I will go to the other supermarket and buy it. But don't forget that you have to buy the rest of my things, okay? Because this money here isn't enough for anything. So let's do the following. Give me back the money so I can add more to it to make the same purchase. No, you have to give me more money because I already know what I'm going to do with this. Mom, wait a second. Let me tell you something very serious. I don't have to give you money, no. This is just a way to give you a little help. Look, this money here is very little. I can't buy anything even for today. All right, mom, it's fine. I'll go do your shopping and bring it here. Save that money. What if you need to spend it on something else? No, don't save it. I'm going to spend that money right now. I already know what I'm going to buy with it. Oh my God, mom, what does it cost you to save this money? Do you want me to do everything and still pay for your whole house? Stop being so miserly, Lana. Look at this. All right, I'll go do that. And after I give it to you, I don't want to hear from you asking for anything else or even coming near my house. What do you mean you don't want me in your house anymore? I am your mother. I know that, ma'am. I already know that, but it's because I can't handle it. You take advantage of me all the time. What an absurdity. I am at the point of a breakdown. Hi, I'm home. I'm coming in. Yes, right. Yes, I saw your ad. You want 
to rent the house, right? Oh, yes. We recently moved here. The house is really new. If you want to come in, I can show you the rooms. Yeah, I can see that she is really young. I'm liking it a lot, you know, because it reminds me a lot of my mother's house. Yes, it's impossible not to like it here. The house is very nice. Oh, and how does the neighborhood work here? Are the people easygoing? It's just that I'm noticing the houses are quite close to each other, right? So, yes. The only one who lives next door is my mother-in-law. She is a very calm person. Just the house in my life, really. Oh, yes, but I would like to take a look at the house. Yes, of course. Please, huh? With pleasure, okay? Are you two going to travel? No, Mom. We are not going to travel. Where are you going in terms of luggage? What my wife wants to tell you, Mrs. Beth, is the following. We will no longer live in houses that are next to yours. We decided to buy this house because it was at a good price. However, it ended up being much more expensive than we thought. But what are you saying? I am so happy that you are living close to me. Can I be near my daughter? We would also be very happy if you tried to understand that we do not live in the same house, but rather in different homes. Therefore, the expenses are also individual. But she is my daughter. We have to be together. We have to be close to each other. Look, Mom, you can even visit us. That's fine. You just can't turn our house into a supermarket like you used to. Daughter, please, I was wrong, but it won't happen again. I am leaving, Mom. You never cared about us. Your concern was with our money. Mother-in-law, you never asked how we were doing or if we needed anything. You always asked for money and more money. So you need to start understanding that we are not responsible for your expenses. And if things had continued the way they were, it would have gone on for years and years. I just want you to know one thing. I don't mind doing things for you. I am your daughter. Yes, but you need to start understanding that you were already taking advantage too much. We need our privacy and our space. And now, what am I going to do? Am I going to be alone here? Look, you won't be alone, okay? We will be able to join you when we can, but one thing is certain, we will live quite far away. If you had talked to me, maybe I could have changed. I'm sorry, but the house is already rented. It's too late. It was very nice, Pedro, that we were together, but this is what happens to each one. So you all tell me where you are going because I am not going to stay here alone. No, I will live near you all again. I'm not very sorry, but she won't understand. Excuse me. Paul, wait! It's no use. She will never understand. Daughter, daughter, please don't go. No. Daughter.